Municipal heating is a critical component of the Ukrainian energy system, yet years of scarce financial and technological resources have resulted in aging heating systems, ongoing supply demand inefficiencies, and significant losses throughout heating networks. At the same time, skyrocketing energy prices and dependence on imports have impacted the quality of municipal heating, with negative social and economic consequences. Consumers are mostly unaware of practical heat saving measures, and public initiatives to promote energy efficiency are few and far between. If appropriate reforms were adopted, the municipal heating sector of Ukraine has the potential to save up to $2 billion per year. Given Ukraine's current economic constraints and the country's need to ensure its energy security, the time is ripe for reforming the nation's heating sector. The United States Agency for International Development's three-year municipal heating reform project in Ukraine, launched in February 2009, is designed to support heating reform. Implemented by International Resources Group in collaboration with Ukraine's Ministry of Housing and Communal Services and other Ukrainian and international organizations, the project operates on three levels, national, local and consumer. In close cooperation with the national and local governments, the Municipal Heating Reform Project supports steps to upgrade or develop relevant legislation, strengthen policy governing better heating services and tariff regulation, and assure compliance with the European Union's legislation in this field. On behalf of the Ministry, I would like to express our great respect to the management and experts of the Municipal Heating Reform Project in Ukraine, who provide the significant support we need in drafting and improving the regulatory and legal framework. Project experts have greatly assisted the Ministry in developing the Law of Ukraine on Energy Efficient Buildings, which is now working its way through the Central Government's agency's approval process. We expect to present this new law to the Cabinet of Ministers of Ukraine this fall. We appreciate the Municipal Heating Reform Project's expert contributions to the development of Ukraine's national heating strategy. Also, I would like to express sincere gratitude to the project and its experts for their contribution towards drafting the law on the establishment of the National Commission for Regulation of the Communal Services Market. There are two bills pending approval in Ukraine's Parliament today, a draft new housing code of Ukraine and a new version of the Homeowners Association Law. Specialists at USAID's Municipal Heating Reform Project played an important role in discussing and helping to finalize these two legislative drafts. In September 2009, the Municipal Heating Reform Project selected 36 cities as cooperative partners. Of those, six were chosen to participate in pilot projects focusing on heating system reform. These projects include a review of each city's heating system, energy plan development, drafting regulatory specifications and legal frameworks for metering devices, introduction of energy efficient technology, and results monitoring. In order to ensure that reliable heating systems are operating in pilot buildings, heating networks have already been updated in six partner cities. Public-private partnerships, where municipal governments and investors collaborate closely, are also assisting this process. Korohova with the DTEC company and in Kramatorsk with Contour Global and Kramatorsk Teplo and Ergo. I would like to specifically mention some examples of public-private partnerships between the Municipal Heating Reform Project in Ukraine and our city's administration. In June of this year, a separate Memorandum of Cooperation was signed with the MHR project, Contour Global Company, which is the main heat utility in Kramatorsk, and the city administration. This will ensure reliable service, even for those residents living far from the source of heat. In addition, excessive pressure in the heating main will be reduced, thereby extending its life. The project funding is at a 50-50 ratio, with the Municipal Heating Reform Project providing 2 million grivne and Contour Global contributing approximately 3 million grivne. We believe that further development of the heating system and formulation of a conceptual system for heating sector development in general would have been impossible without such powerful support from the Municipal Heating Reform Project. We have signed agreements with USAID and related grant agreements for heating system reconstruction in the third zone. Thanks to the project's energy audits at these facilities, energy efficient equipment that is capable of controlling heat carrier temperature based on actual building needs has already been installed. Thermal modernization of buildings, 
includes virtually all the recommendations that the experts suggested. The project will help replace the ventilation and lighting and partially repair the heating system. The modern meteor system installed at a number of buildings near Victoria, Lviv, Kramatorsk and other partner cities of the Municipal Heating Reform Project is intended to significantly improve cost-effective use of heat energy. Lviv is the first city to install five automatic control systems in five pilot buildings. In one building, secondary school number 77, new equipment reduced heat consumption by 20%, saving approximately 53,000 grivna per year. The school's heat consumption will be controlled automatically, depending on outdoor temperatures, thereby guaranteeing a comfortable environment for students and teachers. Heat energy supply control systems and metering devices have been installed as part of the Municipal Heating Reform Project in Ukraine, including control systems in three residential buildings, and both control devices and heat meters in school number 77 and 123 Training and Educational Center. The payback period is about two years, with savings of approximately 20%. Modern technology will also help resolve heat energy metering problems. The software sends the data from metering devices installed in a building directly to the city manager's computer where the efficiency of energy consumption is analyzed. That information facilitates development of municipal level energy planning. In Lviv, one of the pilot partner cities of the Municipal Heating Reform Project in Ukraine, such a system is already in place, ready for the 2010 heating season. This software has enabled us to evaluate the current situation regarding resource consumption and long term will provide an excellent opportunity to measure energy efficiency potential in Lviv. The Municipal Heating Reform Project pays close attention to the establishment of homeowners associations. The goal is to energize and mobilize consumers to take active first steps to establish such associations. The project web portal provides extensive information on setting up an association, holding effective meetings and taking group decisions. Any questions related to associations can be addressed to project specialists online. No single resident of a multi-unit apartment building can implement energy saving measures on his own, either from the financial or legal point of view. A homeowners association provides the forum to implement these measures jointly, lawfully, and effectively. A series of booklets under the common title, An Energy Efficient Building Step-by-Step, -step, is currently being prepared under USAID's Municipal Heating Reform Project in Ukraine. The first hands-on manual, Step 1, Establishing Homeowners Associations, is now ready for publication. The project is working with the pilot cities to set up support centers for such associations. These centers offer interested individuals practical answers to their questions. How to establish a homeowners association and the steps needed for implementing energy efficient improvements within apartment buildings. Striving to raise consumer awareness about the need to conserve heat energy, the Municipal Heating Reform Project in Ukraine has launched an information campaign on efficient energy consumption. This campaign, under the motto, Save Heat, Save Ukraine, was conducted in Vinitsa, Yevpatoria, Kramatorsk, Lutz, Lviv, and Kiev. More than 700 billboards were posted in these cities to draw the public's attention to the issues surrounding Ukraine's energy dependence. Local and national TV channels broadcast the videos that showed effective and low-cost improvements, which consumers can easily make to help keep their homes warm. Another key component of the information campaign is the Energy Efficient Schools and Campuses program implemented in the project's pilot partner cities to educate responsible and informed future users of communal services. Students of pilot classes were offered an optional course in the basics of heating and heat saving. A number of practical sessions were delivered where students themselves conducted energy audits of school premises using equipment provided by the Municipal Heating Reform Project in Ukraine. The students also made on-site visits to local heat facilities to see firsthand where heat originates and how it is delivered to their homes. My child came home two weeks ago and said, you know, Mom, 
It turns out ecology also means energy saving. It was a great pleasure to hear that. We have a service board in our kitchen, which he had never noticed before, and now he says that they are already charging something to us. He takes note of drafty windows. He knows for certain that we have a bill for communal services, even though he has never mentioned it before this. It's very important for our children to understand the importance of saving heat and saving a family's money. This was a joint effort of the city council, the mayor, and the community, as it is the community that sets the policy and priorities of city's development today. The program is needed not only for adults, but especially for children, since their behavior will determine the future of our country and continued development of our energy security. To help implement the Energy Efficient Schools and Campuses program, experts of the Municipal Heating Reform Project in Ukraine prepared a textbook for sixth form students and a teacher syllabus. This textbook is devoted specifically to the problems related to heat energy. This is important primarily because the main goal of our program is educating a responsible future user who understands the problems of communal enterprises and supports them through his own actions, saves and rationally uses heat, and pays promptly for the services received. Not only teachers but also the specialists rated the Energy Efficient Schools and Campuses program as very effective. In 2010, Ukraine's Ministry of Education and Science officially recommended the textbooks for pupils and teacher syllabus for the optional course on heat conservation. The next phase of the information campaign is scheduled to start with the beginning of the 2010 heating season. The foundations have been laid both for implementing heat sector reform and building consumer awareness of the need to use Ukraine's resources in a rational way. We sincerely appreciate USAID's work and the assistance provided to us. And we will be supporting all USAID's related events and actions in every way possible. The heating sector in Ukraine faces enormous challenges. However, USAID project experts are certain that thanks to close cooperation between the authorities and consumers, and thanks to the conscientious and informed actions of each citizen, every Ukrainian winter will become progressively warmer and more comfortable.